Lazaric Homestead. Real people. Real living. Hey everybody, it's June 10th. I just got back from voting in our town election and I'm getting ready to get the smoker ready. I marinated chicken thighs and a rack of pork ribs. Yes, but I wanted to come out here and show you the garden. So I just got finished pruning, um, taking off leaves, uh, branches that are non, not needed. And I did notice I am getting tomatoes um, on some of these. Uh, I think they're over on the other side of the yard, honestly. And uh, I didn't see this one here. I got to pull that off. Okay, so here's that pepper, the orange pepper. Okay. And I'm using the tripod to hold my camera, so bear with me here. Look at the head of lettuce forming. All my heads of lettuce are forming. Um, do it's it's doing wonderful. Okay, my cucumber taking a little bit, but you know it's how things go. Um, here's one that sprouted. Now, one, two, three, there's one behind it, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then over here, nine, ten, eleven. So it's having a hard time trellising because of this wrap. So um, I just keep trying to keep it over there. Uh, look at this one. This is the tasty green. Look at the bees going right to it. Yep. And then there's another one right there. And it's just, it's continuing to come up. So we're going to pull this back in here so that it can vine up. Yeah. And then the rabbits keep walking through here, but this is my onions. Normally I cut them at the tops, but I'm not going to do that this year. I'm going to try it a different way. Now, we picked a lot of strawberries. I have to go in and um, put them in the freezer, but these are the orange hat tomatoes. They're a mini dwarf, but they're showing tomatoes. This is a Haas container. Another Haas container. And then another orange hat with baby tomatoes on it. I picked off of this several times. I'm going to probably throw some more um, strawberries in here. I'm not sure. Something is eating this one. So, that's not good. But I pick them as soon as I see them um, able to be picked because of that. This one, I just picked one off and brought it in. I want to go in the greenhouse. I left the door open for a little bit. Because it is 79. But um, I did see, I believe it was these plants, I saw some tomatoes forming. Something is eating it right here.
they don't I don't have them um, the doors open very often so we'll see how they do um, but yeah and then over here the tasty jades These do not need pollinators. See the little babies right there? And then I have some more that are just poking through now. The leaves are getting eaten. I did find ant hills all over in the soil. Um, so yeah. We'll see how well they do. They're just, you know, that's all I got in here. I know there was one that had a tomato on it. Let's see if I can get you. This is a determinant one. Kind of leave it alone. All right, so we're going to go over here. <sighs> I have to get the smoker going. These are all my potatoes. The rabbits are just in and out of here all day long. But uh, these tomatoes, they're very slow. I did prune them today, so hopefully that'll help with the growing. They're slow going. And I did have, there's a little baby tomato right here. And then over here, there's two, one, two. But my tomatoes always run slow, I don't know. And then I already have runners coming down in my strawberries, as you can see. So I'm going to let them insert down there. And uh, we've been picking off these. To, um, this one's kind of soft. But uh, yeah, we've been picking off them. I have a little bowl in the fridge. Those are some container ones. We're going to turn it around. I love these green stock planters. I bought one and my boys bought me one. I love it. very windy today. I'm kind of deciding if I should um, do the smoker, but I already have the meat marinating. I did come out here and uh, sweep the pool, get all the bird poop off the bottom. I got a chlorine tap floating around with a, b a balancer and uh, changed out the filter sock. It's looking pretty nice in there. And then I came over here and there was a big hole, a chipmunk size hole in front of that tomato plant. It was a perfect tunnel, <laughs> perfect tunnel. So that's what my tomatoes are looking like. My onions, my um, Spanish onions, they're all flopping over, but I'm just gonna leave them. I used to cut them so bad, and then they just rotted. <sighs> but that's what we got going on. And then in here, all our yard sale stuff. Um, they're doing a town-wide yard sale on the 22nd. So uh, that is what I'm going to be 
doing is I'm going to be having my yard sale. I put my name on the map for the town. So, but we're going to go over here to get in here and mow. Let's check the watermelons. There's one watermelon, two. I have to admit I don't get out here to water. It's the moon and stars one. But I have to admit I don't get out here and deal with it as well as I should, so. But all right, I'm gonna go get the meat ready for the smoker and I'll be back in the next one to show you the updates. So. This is where we had that problem and that hailstorm. Um, the water was coming out through there, spilling back upwards, and there was a chipmunk in here, trapped. So, we think the pipe down here, in here, is crushed because it's been, and I think the chipmunk has been, you know, storing stuff in there and, and jamming it up. So, we cut this. Because we don't, I, we, our basement we don't need flooded. So we just did this a temporary fix for right now. And it worked pretty well. Yesterday it rained and we were watching and it was coming out of this hole. The only thing is right here, it pulls up. It needs to come out a little bit longer to get onto the driveway. It does go down the driveway, but it, it's wearing that out. So I have to get another little piece to put on there to, to make it come all the way to the driveway. But this is just temporary till we can um, break all this up and fix the piping in there. Hey Jack, you relaxing, huh? Todd has two more days of school, today and tomorrow. Sierra's getting out on the 13th. And then she's done. Then we can focus on uh, getting Todd on the road driving. And Sierra more. She definitely needs it. Huh, Jack? You're lucky you don't go in the car with Sierra, boy. I get a little nervous, I have to admit. Yes, I do. All right, I'm going to go in, get the stuff ready for the smoker, and I will see you on the next one.